Uh, good day viewers, uh, welcome to another biology lesson. This is your presenter, Mr. Mulenga. So right here with me, I've got um, this question. It's a question that came in biology paper 2, section B. And we know that in section B, there are essay questions, okay? So let us look at the questions now. We have question A, explain the process of transpiration. Question B, describe three environmental factors which affect transpiration. C, relate the significance of transpiration to plants and the, the environment. Alright, so question A, explain the process of transpiration. So transpiration is the process through which plants lose water vapor from the surface of their leaves. The water moves from the xylem vessels to the mesophyll cells by osmosis. Then it evaporates from the surfaces of the mesophyll cells into the air spaces and finally diffuses out of the air spaces to the atmosphere through the stomata. So the reason why plants do this, they do this in order to maintain an optimum balance of water inside the cells. So this is how you can explain the process of transpiration. So there are different ways that you can use to explain this. Alright, so let us now move on to the next question. Our question B, describe three environmental factors which affect transpiration. This question was carrying six marks. Okay, so to write this essay, you start by describing first what transpiration is. You explain the term transpiration. So transpiration, this is the process through which plants lose water vapor from the surface of their leaves. There are several factors that affect transpiration, such as the wind speed, temperature, humidity, light intensity, and soil moisture. They affect the rate of transpiration in different ways. The higher the temperature, the higher the transpiration rate. And this is because high temperatures increase the kinetic energy of the water molecules, making them diffuse faster out of the leaf. The higher the light intensity, the higher the transpiration rate. Because light intensity causes opening of the stomata. The higher the wind speed, the greater the transpiration rate when the air is still. A layer of water vapor will form over the leaf and reduces the, the transpiration rate. So just by explaining the, uh, these three points, you get the six marks, okay? So just make sure that your explanation will be based on the three points, okay? Or if you want, you can even explain on the humidity. You get more marks there, okay? So this is how you can accumulate the six marks, okay? We now come to question C. Relate the significance of transpiration to plants and the, the environment. So here they want you to, to relate the importance of transpiration to plants and the, the environment. So we know that transpiration is an important process to plants and the environment. In as much as, the, as the, when a water loses a lot of water, you find that, sorry, as a plant loses a lot of water, you find that it starts to wilt and it can die, okay? So that doesn't stop transpiration from being important okay so transpiration is important in the maintenance of the water cycle including the plant also absorption of mineral salts and uptake of the water that is used during uh, photosynthesis okay so transpiration is an important process to plants and the environment it plays a part in the water cycle so through transpiration water is absorbed by plants and released into the atmosphere as water vapor. So this water vapor condenses to form the clouds. Transpiration is also important because it provides the leaves with, uh, with water for photosynthesis. So this is how you can relate the significance of transpiration to plants and the, the environment. And this question was just carrying two marks. So you don't need to stress yourself to come up with a lot of what? Explanations. Just be brief to the point so that it, you get the marks that have been put there. Okay, so we've come to the end of our lesson for today. Thank you so much, everyone. Have a blessed day.